What's up with it, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Hancho, and I'm back on the field with you. See, I decided to do a little something different today because I can tell you a hundred ways to do something. I can explain a hundred ways how not to do something. But I thought it'd be better if I just get out here on the field. I got my main man, Lil Hancho, with me. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the stuff that I'm talking about and pointing out in regards to defensive back, especially with Damon Arnett. Now, I've been watching a lot of video on Damon Arnett and... As cornerbacks and defensive back coach, there's certain things you're looking for, right? So what I'm looking for is obviously from the hips down, right? I'm looking for hips. I'm looking for uh, knee lock, hip lock, uh, flexibility, um, fluidity. I'm also looking at feet. How quick are your feet? How quick can you get in and out of breaks fluidly, right? But another thing that I'm looking for that's underrated is I am looking for hands. Uh, a defensive back that can play with their hands. Now, I don't mean physical as far as holding and grabbing. I just mean playing with your hands, okay? Now, a lot of times... When I'm watching Damon Arnett, the problem I'm having with him is that he's lining up here, right? And forgive me if it's windy out here. I don't know how well the mic is going to work. He's lining up and press coverage this way, right? So he has the receiver there, right? But what he's doing is, is he's too many times allowing that receiver to get an inside, outside release without touching him. I will give the benefit of the doubt that it's probably because he had a hand injury because he's been doing this since college, right? So if he wants to be a better defensive back, I believe there are certain things that he can do with his hands that can make him better and more effective in press coverage, okay? So even though Gus Bradley's going to play a lot of zone, um, you're still going to play press. You're still going to play press cover three. You can play press man. I want to see Damon Internet start using his hands a little more. And stop giving free releases, okay? So I got my man Lil Hancho out here. Lancho. Hancho, get up on the camera, man. Say what's up. What's up? Yeah, we got Lil Hancho out here. You know, we looking, we looking fly, man. We out here about to just demonstrate a few things. So he's going to play receiver. I'm going to show you what I want out of my defensive backs and what Damon Arnett is not doing, okay? So remember, I'm not no professional athlete. I'm not no professional football player. These are just things that I see when I'm watching his tape and things that I would like to see him do differently, okay? So... We're gonna have a little honcho line up right here. All right, now, what I'm gonna show you first, cause I don't wanna be screaming all over the camera. What I'm gonna show you first is I'm gonna show you what Damon Arnett is doing. Okay, so what Damon Arnett is doing is when he has a receiver right here, right? When he has a receiver right here and don't move yet, whenever the he's press coverage, right? So he's this close to the guy, he's press coverage, right? But the thing he's doing is if the receiver goes outside, he's hopping this way, okay? If the receiver's going inside, he's hopping this way. Instead of hopping, instead of hopping side to side, I would much rather see him shuffle at a 45 degree angle. You can call it inch stepping or however you want to call it. I would like to see him shuffle at a 45 degree angle and get, uh, angle and get an offhand jam. That's what he's not doing. And like I said, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it was because of his arm being all broken and wrist being broken, whatever the case may be. But if you're a defensive back out there, you have to start perfecting the offhand jam, okay? So the offhand jam would be, if I have a receiver breaking inside, I would step 45 degrees and I would jam that way. If he's breaking outside this way, I would 45 degree step that way. I'm jamming with my off hand, okay? You cannot jam with the same hand of the leg you're opening up with, okay? It just doesn't work that way, okay? So I'm gonna show a couple routes. I'm gonna show a slant, inside release fade routes with Lil Hancho, and then I'll be back to show you what I'm talking about. I'll tell you what I'm talking about because I don't know how well it's gonna pick up my voice from this far away because I wanna make sure you're seeing the feet. All right, so let's get here. All right, actually, let me change the zoom on here. Make it a little wider angle, right? Let's get that like that. I'm in the same distance. So now you should be able to see us, right? Same distance. So if I'm playing press coverage here and you got little honcho slowly, we're gonna go slow. Little honcho's gonna take an outside release, take an outside release. I will be here, boom. Offhand jam that way, and that way I can get to the hip and get upfield, okay? Right here. So what I want you to uh, release, just release right here. Don't go too far out wide. So if I'm here, like I said again, so I'm here, I'm press coverage. This is exactly how Damon Arnett's playing. When he takes that outside release going outside, Damon Arnett's just jumping like this. He's just jumping wide open, okay? And he's not getting an offhand jam. That's why it's not going to work. So let's do it one more time. If he was to go outside, I would 45 degree here, boom, offhand jam there, and then I'd be able to run upfield with him. If he goes inside, let me show you what the inside would look like. So I'm here, if he goes inside, here, boom. And then I'm here with him, all right? That's what you needed to look like. What Damon Arnett is doing, he's just allowing guys to go inside and outside without getting a hand on him, which is forcing him to be not only 
give up too much room but he's also going to be late to the passes he's going to be late to breaking up passes which is going to force him to be over aggressive in the pass breakup which is why he's getting a lot of pass interference calls like we see all right so once again now in a situation where like because to me if you're press coverage if i'm playing press there's no reason to play press if i'm not gonna get my hands on you if i'm not gonna get my hands on you i would just back up a little bit but in press coverage i'm not backpedaling i'm waiting to make contact with you and turn the hips okay so once again if it's a situation where uh, Lil Hondra's gonna go outside and then come inside, this is how I want my defensive back to play. So he goes outside, I hear, boom, that he comes back inside, boom, I'm right there. That's what you need. That's what you need right there. Okay, so what it'll look like, if I'm in, if I'm in press coverage and I'm here, all right, watch out Lil Hondra. If I'm in press coverage and I'm here and I'm manned up, I'm face to face with the guy. He goes outside release, it's just boom, right there. Cause we're already pressed. I'm not gonna just hop this way, cause then if you go that way, I gotta hop this way and I'm not getting any hands on you, okay? So what I wanna make sure I'm doing with my DBs is I'm gonna be here, I got a foot in the bucket already. So I'm here, he releases this way, I step, boom, I go with him, boom, that way. That's exactly the way I want you to play. That's the way you need to play it, all right? And then once, let's say he takes an outside release, I jam and he keeps going, I'm right on the hip. I can turn for the ball this way. That's what I need. And I, like I said, I'll give the benefit of the doubt to Damon Arnett that his hand was messed up, but he's not getting any type of jams, right? He's faced up with the guy like this. He's just hopping. He's hopping. You don't want that. You don't want that. Okay, I want small, quick steps, and I got to get the offhand jam, right? So even if he's playing straight up and he's backpedaling here, boom, 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 open up, boom, open up, boom. That's where you needed to be. That's where you needed to be. So, Lil Hodge, you got anything you want to add? Get in the camera, man. I can't even see you. Get in the camera, man. Y'all here looking fresh. So that's all we came out here to show you, man, was just how we can play with our hands a little more in press man coverage, even in press zone. You got to get hands on guys, especially in the NFL. Now, I know I don't play in the NFL, and I know those guys are fast, but at the end of the day, playing defense is about reading and reacting. You're not going to be able to react fast enough to what they're doing all the time because they know what they're doing and you don't, right? So the easiest way to do it Get a hand on them, that allows you the time to react and adjust to what they're doing. If you don't get a hand on a guy and they get free releases, I don't care if it's NFL, high school, college, Pop Warner, you're done. Chances are the receiver's faster than you, bigger than you, taller than you. He knows where he's going and you don't. You have to get hands on a guy. Damon Arnett, if you want to be a better cornerback, you got to start using an offhand jam. You do a great job in coverage because you have good speed. You have good recovery speed, but the fact that you're not getting a hand on those guys is not allowing you to run hip to hip with them, and you're always going to be late. Let's say, let's say you're two yards behind a man because you didn't get a jam on him. The ball's underthrown, and you're not looking back. You're out of phase. You're out of phase, so you're not looking back. You're chasing the guy, and he goes to stop. Now you run into him as pass interference. All right, let's say you get on a slant. He runs a slant, right? Let's say Hancho runs a slant here, and I just hop. You run the slant, I can't. Okay, that ain't no damn slant, but... It still remains the same. I get no jam on him. I can't control where he's going. As a defensive back, you want to be a good defensive back, you got to get hands on the guy. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, Raider Honcho.